let's go through these four buckets and let's start with the things that we need to do because we feel they're mandatory to do. And uh, a lot of that comes down to keeping Drupal secure. As you know, Drupal depends on uh, a lot of third party components and each of these components have an end of life. If you put that in a timeline like this, you can see some of the components or the dependencies that Drupal has. And for some, we already know when their end of life. And then for others, we know there is a new version. Either there is a version already, or we know a version is, you know, a new version is eminent, but they haven't really communicated their end of life. But the point is each of these components, we need to track them and manage their end of life. And in this case, uh, Symphony 4 and CK Editor 4, we know their end of life at the end of uh, 2023. And really what that does, it forces us to end of life Drupal 9 as well, right? And so what we need to do is we need to release a new version of Drupal well before these are end of life because we want to give our users, you know, all of the users of Drupal 9, time to upgrade their site before these components are end of life. And so really what that means is that we're targeting the release of Drupal 10 to be around June of 2022. 